I will explain the concept of LCM and HCF with an example. Let's consider two numbers, say 6 and 8. These two are the numbers. And what are the factors of 6? 1 into 6 gives you 6 and 2 into 3 gives you 6. Yes, so 1, 2, 3 and 6 are factors of 6. Similarly for 8. 1 into 8 gives you 8 and 2 into 4 gives you 8. So 1, 2, 4 and 8 are the factors of 6 and 8 factors. Similarly, multiples of 6 and 8 are 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12. And so on. And for 8, and so on. These are the multiples of 6 and 8. If you observe, is there any common factors for 6 and 8? Is yes. 1 and 2 are common factors. And uh, multiples 24, 48, 72, and so on, common multiples. Out of these, out of these common factors, which one is the highest one? 2 is the highest one, so it is HCF. And 24 is the least one, so 24 is LCM. Here, 6 and 8 are the numbers, right? And if you see, if you observe one thing clearly, what is product of LCM and HCF? 2 into 24 gives you, 2 into 24 gives you 48. And of course, the product of the two numbers, 6 into 8 also gives 48 only. From this we can say, product of LCM and HCF gives you product of the two numbers A and B. And this formula is applicable for only two numbers and if there are three numbers, this formula will not be applicable. By using this table, we are going to find out LCMs without using pen and paper. Please take screenshot of this table. Now, how to find it out? We have five types of numbers. They are, they may be consecutive numbers like, I mean, side by side numbers like 2, 3, 24, 25, 198, 199. So, consecutive numbers, say A and B are two numbers and if they are consecutive, their LCM is product of the two numbers. For example, I'll consider one example, say two numbers are um, 7 and 8. What is their LCM? You need not to find anything, simply multiply the two, you'll get LCM of the two numbers, 7 into 8. 56 is LCM of the two numbers. And as you know, product of the two numbers gives product of LCM and HCF, A into B equal to A into B into HCF. Then what will be the HCF? Obviously, the two will be cancelled and HCF will be 1. And if the two numbers A and B are consecutive odd numbers, then the LCM will be the same product of the two numbers. Even if the two numbers are any prime numbers, they need not to be prime, sorry, they need not to be consecutive numbers. Consider any two prime numbers, say 5 and 13. Their LCM is product of the two numbers, 13 into 5, 65. And of course, HCF is 1. And consider any two co-primes. Wait, what is co-prime? Two numbers are said to be co-primes if and only if they have no common factor other than 1. I'll explain with an example. Say 3 and 8. These two numbers are co-primes and if you observe factors of 3, 1 and 3 are factors of 3 and the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, 8. And there is only one common factor of you know, there is only one common factor for 3 and 8, that is 1. Other than 1, there is no common factor. So, 3 and 8 are co-primes. And LCM of 2 co-primes is product of the two numbers. 24 is LCM of 3 and 8. And finally, if the two numbers are consecutive even numbers, then half of their product will be LCM of the two numbers and we already observed one example in the case of 6 and 8. 6 and 8 are consecutive even numbers and half of their product 24 is LCM. We already saw this. We will see some examples on LCM and HCF. For example, consider any two numbers say 10, 15. 10 and 15 are not co-primes, not 
prime numbers, not consecutive odd numbers, consecutive even numbers, not even consecutive numbers. Then how to find out LCM of the two? Here if you observe 5 is in common for 10 and 5. So 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15. Here 2 and 3 are consecutive numbers and product of the two gives you LCM. 3 into 2 equal to 6, 6 into 5. 30 is LCM of 10 and 15. Of course, you just check with your own traditional method. 5 twos, 5 threes. 5 into 2 into 3, the same value. And if you consider one more example like uh, 14 and uh, tell me one number. 35. Okay. And here 7 is in common of 14 and 35. 7 twos, 7 fives. Here 2 and 5 are 2 prime numbers. So product gives you LCM. 5 twos are 10, 10 into 7, 70 is LCM of both 14 and 35. Let me check with 14. 14 into 5, yes, 70. So 70 is LCM of 14 and 35. Likewise, you can find out. And finally, one more example. Say what is LCM of LCM of 10 and uh, 20 and 30? Here, 10 is in common and 1 into 2 into 3. Here, of course, you need not to include 10 in this case. Why? Because 10 is a factor of 20, 10 is a factor of 30. If x is a factor of y, you know, all the multiples of y will be multiples for x also. I repeat in another way. If x is a factor of y, all the factors of x will be factors for y. Of course, here, LCM of 20 and 30. In reverse, 20 will be factor of the LCM. So, obviously, all the factors of 20, of course, 10 also factor of 20, should be factors for LCM. So, if a number is divided by 20, obviously, it must be divided by 10 also. So, here, we need not to include 10. 20 and 30, find out LCM. And uh, 10 is common here, 2 into 3. The same case, 6 into 10, 60 is LCM of 20, 30, and 10. Guys, if you like this video, please click on like button and don't forget to share with your friends. And to get more videos from Aptitude Adda, please subscribe us. Bye bye.